To modify content in a list, like the one that you're seeing right now, the employees list, you need to hover over the, uh, the data point where you can pull down the what's called the ECB menu or the context menu and uh, basically click on edit item and when you do that a form page comes up and the form page will let you change the data simple enough what if you wanted to change this form page or make a new form page and uh, have a logo of your company up above maybe make a couple of these data points so some of these columns make them um, uh, either hidden invisible or just make them read only so a user cannot change for example their login ID or employee ID I'm going to show you how you can use SharePoint designer to do just that let me cancel out of here and I'm going to go to the employees list in SharePoint designer which I have open up up right here listen libraries employees list for this site the form pages the form page that I showed you just a second ago is the edit form .aspx page that is what lets you edit um, an item in a list so what I want to do is create a new form page and that form page is going to be the one that's going to let you edit information but that form page is the one that you're going to design yourself now you can of course go ahead and redesign the edit form.aspx which is the built-in form for edit but I would advise that it's better to make your own uh, form page and uh, make that your default edit page and here's how you do it so first I'm going to click on the new button right here to make a new form page and this is going to be the uh, employee info or actually let's make it edit employee info dot ASPX it's gonna to be to edit information so edit item form and what this does by the way is to uh, take the existing edit form and give you that as a starting point so you can take that and then uh, modify the form page from there I'll set this as a default form page and then I'm going to go ahead and click on create link in the list item menu and ribbon and this will be edit employee info so from the drop down the ECB menu uh, that you see the context menu for an item that I showed you earlier you will now see the edit employee info wording and when you click on that you will see the edit employee.info web, uh, web page. I'll click on OK. Here we go, the edit employee info.aspx page appears. I'll click on this to get to the actual page so I can edit it further. It shows me that here's the current data source. I have all these different columns to work with and then here's here are the columns displayed on the page let me close the data source of details for now I don't need that first thing I want my login ID to not uh, be an editable field I want this to be just be read-only for the user so I'm gonna click on login ID click on this Chevron this arrow and select format as just text instead of list form field just make it text and just as easy now it has become text label and it's not uh, editable anymore the exact same thing I'm gonna do to employee ID make it text alright now at the bottom I have lots of these fields some of these fields that I I don't want to show to the user at all for example the um, the salaried flag maybe the uh, vacation hours sick leave hours all these things let me go ahead and select this information and treat this just like any other table in Microsoft Word for example once I have these rows selected I want to delete them so I click on the table tab up above in the data view tools because that's what this is it's a data view 
I'm going to click on table tab here and say delete these rows. All gone. Wonderful. Now what I want to do is to um, go to the top of this table and customize this further by adding an image, a logo for my company directly in here. So when the form page comes up, it shows the logo for my company or my department, whatever you want to show. I'll click on insert, insert a picture. The picture resides in my My Documents folder. Here it is, AdventureWorks, insert, AW is the alternate text. And here's my logo, AdventureWorks. Wonderful, let me go ahead and save this page. It's asking me where do you want to save the picture. Well, by default, it's always gonna save it in the Site Assets Library. So Site Assets Library is um, part of every team site automatically. And that's definitely recommended that you store your pictures, among other things, in there. So let me click on OK. And uh, I'll further format my column here. All these headings, I'm going to take this, highlight it, and say let's make it bold. And also change the background color a little bit. It's got live preview, so it shows me exactly what it's going to look like if I let, if I click on any of these. Uh, let's go ahead and click on this one and save. Okay, so we're all done. Let's see what this looks like. So to navigate now to this um, in the browser, I can just uh, well, I can just go to my browser where the employees list is still there. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, refresh my page. Now when I hover over the login ID and bring up the ECB, the edit control button menu or the context menu, bring that up. That shows an additional item now, edit employee info. When I click on this, it shows me my modified form. So it has the logo, it has login ID and employee ID, both being read only, and it has the highlighted uh, change the background and bold for all my column headings. But not only that, when I, if I had clicked on edit item, instead of edit employee info, the edit item brings up a dialog box. And the dialog box also has the exact same formatting that I've done. So that appears in the existing edit item form because I made it a default form and also the new form, the edit employee info form uh, that I customized. So you saw how easy it is to create new list of form pages using SharePoint Designer. And uh, it creates that using the extremely powerful data viewer part.